Simplify rational expressions. Look at all these things. These are called rational expressions. Why are they called rational? They look more insane than rational to me. The reason they're called rational is because of this root of the word rational, which is ratio. The official definition is here, capable of being expressed as a quotient of integers, the key word here being quotient. These types of problems are the scary hairy ones that few like to do, that get a lot of test takers intimidated. The testers, such as the writers of the SAT and other tests, use the testers' fear and unfamiliarity to make difficult looking problems. The main skills you must have to tackle these problems are the ability to separate polynomials into separate factors, called factoring, and also the ability to perform basic algebraic operations, manipulations that you probably learned a long time ago using numbers, but now apply the same principles to algebraic symbols such as x's, x squareds, and so on. And specifically in factoring, you should be able to find the greatest common factor of an expression. It will help you a lot to be good at factoring trinomials into two binomials. And finally, it will help you to understand special situations like a difference of squares application or a perfect trinomial square. And we're going to show examples of using these techniques in this lesson. This is the first problem we'll look to simplify 9x plus 3 over 15x plus 5. What is the greatest common factor of the numerator 9x plus 3? The greatest common factor is 3. And what is the greatest common factor of the denominator 15x plus 5? The greatest common factor is 5. And here is the expression with numerator and denominator factored below. 3 times quantity 3x plus 1 over 5 times quantity 3x plus 1. Quantity 3x plus 1 over quantity 3x plus 1 cancel to equal 1. So our simplified expression is 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. That's one thing we look for in simplifying and that's for the simplified expression to be significantly simpler than the original expression. Now there is what is called a discontinuity in the original expression when x is negative one-third where the expression is undefined, but to explore that more fully is beyond the scope of this lesson. Next we'll look to simplify this rational expression, x squared minus 16 divided by 8x plus 32. In the denominator we have a greatest common factor of 8. And in the numerator, we have x squared minus 16, and that's another situation, a difference of squares. And the rule for the difference of squares is a squared minus b squared equals quantity a plus b times quantity a minus b. So this rational expression simplifies to 8 times quantity x plus 4 in the denominator and quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 4 in the numerator. Quantity x plus 4 in the numerator and quantity x plus 4 in the denominator cancel to equal 1. So we bring down our simplified answer, x minus 4 over 8. Here's a more complex problem to simplify. The trinomial 3x squared plus 3x minus 18 divided by the trinomial 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. We're going to factor the numerator first, so we'll bring, down, uh, bring it down over to the right side to work below. The first thing I notice is that 3 can be factored out of each term so we have 3 times quantity x squared plus x minus 6. Next we'll factor the x squared plus x minus 6 below. The x's at the front are easy. It's going to be finding the factors of negative 6 to make this work out that will be more of the challenge. If we make the factors quantity x plus 3 and quantity x minus 2 we can see that that will work out for us. I didn't spend much time factoring here, but once a person becomes skilled at factoring, this is quite an easy thing to do. Next, we're going to work below the denominator. We set up the parentheses so we have x and 2x in the x term places. Then we can uh, try factors of negative 3, which are negative 1 and 3, and, and also negative 3 and 1. We can get a clue as to which way we're going by looking at the numerator, and we see the factor x plus 3 circled in blue. So an intelligent guess is that this factor over here in the denominator is also going to be quantity x plus 3. It has to be that in order for the expression to simplify. So we would have quantity 2x minus 1 times quantity x plus 3 and that works out. Now we rewrite the expression with the factor numerator and the factor denominator. So we have 3 times quantity x plus 3 times quantity x minus 2 over quantity 2x minus 1 times quantity x plus 3. 
The x plus 3 in the numerator cancel with the x plus 3 in the, in the denominator. That leaves us with 3 times quantity x minus 2 in the numerator and 2x minus 1 in the denominator. We might be able to leave it like that, or we can distribute the 3 to the quantity x minus 2, which gives us 3x minus 6 over 2x minus 1, which I hope you can see is considerably simplified from our original expression of the trinomial over the trinomial. Let's take a look at this problem. We have the expression x plus 5 over x minus 4 divided by the expression x squared plus 10x plus 25 over x squared minus 16. I don't know how this problem looks to you. Maybe it looks pretty hard. To me, the easiest way to start is to look at this division sign. Dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. That's really kind of a middle school or junior high math concept in action. And here is the expression rewritten to the right with the multiplication dot and the rational expression turned upside down. Now we'll factor the numerator on the right side, x squared minus 16. And using the different squares, this becomes quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 4. The next thing we need to factor is x squared plus 10x plus 25 in the denominator. And this factors out to quantity x plus 5 times quantity x plus 5. Now we can cancel x plus 5 at the top left, cancel quantity x plus 5 at the bottom right, and then this x minus 4 at the lower left cancels out quantity x minus 4 at the upper right. So what we have is x plus 4 over x plus 5, considerably simpler than the original problem. Now we'll look at this problem, an SAT type problem with multiple choice answers. This is x squared minus y squared over y squared minus x squared. Since we have multiple choice answers, we could plug in numbers for x and y and work it out, but I like to use the difference of squares. This quantity in the numerator, x squared minus y squared, can be rewritten as quantity x plus y times quantity x minus y. And this, the denominator, y squared minus x squared, can be rewritten as the quantity y plus x times quantity y minus x. Then we can separate them by a horizontal division bar. Quantity x plus y cancel quantity y plus x. We're left with x minus y over y minus x. From here, by substituting numbers or by logic, we can pretty quickly figure out that whatever the number is in the numerator, the denominator has to be the negative of that same number, like 3 over negative 3 which simplifies to the answer B, negative 1, our correct answer. Now we have our last problems, which looks maybe kind of difficult. It's 4x squared equals 9 times quantity y squared plus 2, not a rational expression, but then it asks for us to find the value of a rational expression, 18 over quantity 2x minus 3y. And we have the five answer choices below, A through E. We bring the expression we're looking working on over to the right here. We first distribute the 9 to the terms inside parentheses. We bring down 4x squared equals 9y squared plus 18. Then we move out the 9y squared from the right side by subtracting 9y squared from both sides of the equation. 9y squared minus 9y squared cancel on the right side. We bring down what's left. 4x squared minus 9y squared equals 18. Next, we're going to simplify the left side of the equation using the difference of squares. And that simplification is quantity 2x plus 3y times quantity 2x minus 3y equals 18. Next, to get this expression here, 18 over 2x minus 3y, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2x minus 3y, and this is what that step looks like. And we are left with 2x plus 3y, so our answer is C. Are all these problems shown here, were they so scary? With the right combination of algebra skills and techniques, I don't think so. They can be more like a cuddly kitty cat than a scary monster guy. This has been Simplify Rational Expressions. Thanks for viewing.